Hey everybody, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make these adorable witch broom treat bags. Oh my goodness, stick around, I'll show ya. To start this craft, you're gonna need two brown sacks. Um, don't get the wide ones or the big ones, just get the normal standard. Okay, you're gonna take one of the bags and open it up and you're going to cut one half inch um, wide strips going all the way down until, because this is gonna be your base, and I'll, you'll know what I mean by that in a minute. Um, I'm just gonna go down till about like right here. Uh, well, maybe right here of the bag. Um, and I'm gonna do that all the way around, and I got Miss Shaley to help me. Okay, here's what the first bag looks like. I cut down to just, to about there. See, I did that all the way around and then spread it open. Now you're gonna take your next bag and just cut lines to about here. I don't know, measure it out, but just about here. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna stick that bag right into the center of the other bag. And you're gonna add whatever treat you wanna put on the inside in. So what I'm gonna add in is the, this popcorn ball that I made a few days ago. If you'd like to see how I made these Halloween popcorn balls, click on the link below or right here. Um, so I'm gonna put this inside the bag. So you can put any kind of treat you wanna put in there. Anything you want. If you made a candy apple or just a bag of candy, whatever you wanna do, that is in there. Okay, so I got this like looking like bamboo stick from the dollar store, two came in a package. Um, what I did was stick it in the bag and then cut it to where the height I want it to be. So it's part of the broomstick. Someone's excited. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna um, get your sticks ready. You can go outside and pick twigs. Doesn't matter. I was just already in the go dollar outside. store. You yeah, can you, can, you can go outside, you can grab a stick. But I was already in the Dollar Tree and I just grabbed this, so this is gonna work. So I got my stick in the bag, okay. I have some ribbon, they're witches hats. You could use whatever you want. I'm gonna use a tie to tie the bag up and then use my ribbon because I'm not good at it. What you're gonna do is grab each section and bring it up. These are the bristles of your broom. So stinking cute. On this side, bring it up. So I'm gonna take my tie and I'm gonna try to squeeze this together and tie it a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna cut my ribbon. I'm not sure how much ribbon I'm gonna need. I'm not very good at like guesstimating like at all, but I'm not good at tying bows, but I'm gonna do the best that I can. And then one day I'm gonna be excellent at it. I don't know, I'm just gonna... Smaller ribbon might be better. Like if you get the Halloween ribbon that is not as thick as this, this might help you a little bit. Okay. So now that I have my ribbon on, I'm gonna take off that tie just because I can't do it really without some help. So what I'm gonna do is do my best to tie it into a bow, which I'm not good at, but um, who cares? The whole thing is stinking cute. So I'm just gonna do my best. I just loved this ribbon because it had the um, witch's hats. Oh my gosh. And for some reason when I do a bow, like I always do it upside down. I don't know what kind of twist I do, but it always puts it upside down. It's really bizarre, but there we go. Okay, so I've got my bow on it and I'm gonna make a tag for it. Um, you can go online, find something on Google or um, create something yourself and make a tag or go buy a tag. Um, I found 
this cute idea from this magazine off of the shelf at Walmart. Gotta give credit where credit is due. And I'm not really sure if there's a name. It's from pillbooks.com. So I'm gonna give credit where, no. So I'm gonna give credit where credit is due and this is where I found it. How cute is this? I love it when these come on the shelves during the Hall Halloween or holiday season. Um, they give great ideas. So um, in here, there is a section where they have um, the tags already. I don't have to do any work. Look at that. So what I'm gonna do is cut this out and um, get it on the bag as well. Keep it on and voila. There we go. Look at that. Well, here they are. They're super cute. Um, you can get all Pinteresty if you want and create your own tags. So go find some cute tags at the store. This was simple. I just pulled it from the magazine. So even if you're not super crafty like I am, you could totally do this. So easy. You don't even have to go to the store to buy a stick. Like go outside and get one. But I was already at the dollar store, so I just grabbed it. So, okay guys, it's easy, it's cute. You can give them to your kids as a treat bag or you can give them to like the school if you have to bring like a treat or you, if you're having a Halloween party, put the invitation in there. That could be your invitation. Super cheap, super fun. All right, if you make these, let me know and I would love to know what you've put in the inside, so. All right, thanks for joining me today. These are cute, I am like in love with them so much. Oh my gosh. All right, we'll see you later, bye.